17. 17 mods I have in my collection right now. Going to show you all of them in this video and it will be interesting, as they are only the best of the best in my collection, from my point of view and a certain period of time, but still. Yellow, you're on penstock, channel about pen spinning, everything about it. Today I will show you my pen mod collection, which is not very big actually, less than 20 pen mods. They were also two or three more waterfalls. One Buster CYL, three or four flying pandas. Some of those mods which are not in my collection anymore. Some of them I gave to my friends, some of them one Buster CYL I have sold, and some of them I have just lost. So in total I had about 23 or maybe 25 pen mods in my collection, and from now on I'm not going to get rid of any of them anymore, no sir. To begin I'll take this one, no problem mod, very popular first self mod in these countries for a nice barrel, not ideal, it is also very cheap and you can feel that by touching this mod, but still. I took caps from other pens, spent some time to find the appropriate ones and these grips. It was a real pain to find grips which would fit these caps. To my mind it is not the worst example of the first self mod, in general people tend to make much worse than that, but as you can see it looks like crap. It feels like crap and spin like crap as well. I hold it only for memory and don't spin ever. In about two weeks or less, maybe three weeks have passed, I received this Dr. KT, which became my main pen mod for a long time. When I got it, new, beautiful, Sailor Gale grips were clean, body was smooth and shiny. I couldn't stop staring at it for hours, days. Months. You know that feeling which only the first real pen mod can give you after weeks of spinning a self mod. If you still don't, I envy you. You may appreciate next mods more, they may fit your needs better. Maybe more exclusive design could be better, there are a lot of a lot of things which could make one mod better than another in some aspects. But the first one will always be the first. That doesn't concern self mods, of course, I mean the real ones. Check my video about the first self mod to know more what I talking about, what I think and what I have against them before writing comments like Every mod, except for factory made mods, are self mods. Dr. KT is a good pen mod. My progress boosted really fast, I still like it and spin from time to time. At least three times a week I take it in hands. But in a couple of months I got tired from it and uh, felt that my style and effectiveness suffered from using only heavy pen mod and Dr. KT is really heavy. I wanted to make something by myself and this EKGA mod became my second self-made mod. I spent a lot of time and energy on searching a spa for spare parts for it. It consists of two barrels connected with a piece of paper, if I remember it right, instead of connector or any other, for example. And I also used super glue, which dripped on the body, so I had to try to erase it. As you can see, I also erased some painting and now this mod looks not okay. It also spins bad and I don't really like it, I, I don't use it at all, maybe once or twice per year I would take it to mess around. But I wanted to have something lighter and decided to get two semi-light mods, Waterfall and Flying Panda together, the ones which I don't have anymore. I have a video comparison of Flying Panda and Waterfall, watch it if you want to learn more about them. Both are decent mods, my favorite ones. At the beginning I liked Flying Panda much more, it became my main mode for two years I guess. It was like spinning a magical wind. How it feels, how it looks, how it flies in your hand, just awesome. For a beginner it is one of the best choices to my opinion, the best for now. After a while I began to appreciate waterfall more. And that's when I need to stop telling you in chronological order. Because the next pen was I don't really remember which one I get after another. Waterfall. Right now I have two of them, one I always keep in my working place, one at home. Simple and nice design, great momentum with medium weight. I have a separate video about this pen mod, it was made pretty long ago, but you should watch it to have better idea about Waterfall, link in the description. I often change pens, as spinning only one gets boring eventually and also different elements go better with different pen mods. 
but I always return to waterfall and that's what you can see in my turns on spinball. By the way, how many points have you earned there? Let me know in the comment section. The next one, Minwoo mod. This one is screwed. I can't find time to fix it and they have lost my knife to get rid of this tape. Ugly. But in general, guys, Minwoo is one of the gems of my collection. I like how it looks and it also spins great, good momentum, pretty heavy mod. I'm a big fan of Minwoo mod, I think it is awesome, very nice design, my favorite super pirate body. It looks like a single capped mod, but it is only a design feature, because it spins and feels like double capped, with the center gravity at its middle. And to try what would happen if we make actual this mod out of Minwoo, I also got Twister mod. It is very similar to Minwoo, but with two Dr. Grip tips at both sides. It feels pretty similar, but maybe that's just my subject feelings. It spins somehow a bit stiffer than Minwoo. I don't know how to explain this vague feeling, like Minwoo spins softer, a little bit not so intense momentum. For smoothness, I would choose Minwoo. For power tricks, Twister. Maybe this explanation would be closer to the truth, but not that accurate. Anyway, let's move to the next one here, the one which I love and use really a lot. This one may look weird, you may think it is too thick for your hand, as it is on Ember's body. Yeah, it is Everchick's Emboss. Of course it is not too big for your hands, that's a misconception. There is no requirements of pen mods thickness for your hands. You can spin thick ones with a small hand, thin ones with a huge pass. Great mod for mixed spinning when you want some smoothness and also you want to make some power tricks as well. Good for everything. I also like its marked center, it comes in handy when you learn new tricks, but frankly speaking I rarely use it for learning linkages, mostly for power, aerial tricks, different spins, also to master different elements. For learning, most of the time I use Waterfall. Oh, Aegis Icomsa, the lightest mod in my collection. The best of the light mods I have ever tried, due to its great momentum for its weight, of course. If your fingers are tired, aching, you want to practice style, smoothness, this is a good choice. You can also practice power tricks with this mod as well and that's crazy, as right now I don't any other pen mod below 14 gram, which is fine for power tricks. And Aegis Icomsa is only 12. Dr. ACT, variation of Dr. KT, they spin differently a bit. That's a common thing by the way, you can add only two rubber rings to a mod and it would make your mod spin completely different way. I think Dr. AC fits beginners needs better than Dr. KT. I think I like it more, at least I spin it more often than my Dr. KT, it may be because it is much newer, but probably that's not the real reason. Dr. AC is more universal, it is easier to make smooth combos with it, even though it is 20 gram, which is hell of a lot. Yeah, it spins like crazy, mad momentum, cool design, I like the grips which are very handy when it comes to wipers. If it was about 2 grams lighter, it would be my favorite pen mod, I think. I spin it very often, but not for a long time, because really, 20 gram is really heavy. Another 20 gram mod, VGG mod by Wicked Game, like improved Ivan mod. Very long, very heavy, but at the same time it doesn't feel that stiff as Dr. AC. It spins more softly as it has air fit tips, not Dr. Grip tips, which are responsible for hardness and aggressiveness of spinning a pen mod. VGG is one of the best mods for power, aerial tricks, different spins. When you take it in a hand, you begin to try to make palm spins, thumb spins, multiple busts or felt years continuously. It is hard to spin something else, not because it is harder with VGG, but because it like demands you to do power tricks. Another good mod for power tricks, famous Buster CYL, also known as PIM mod. I think one of the most famous mod in the whole wild world, at least in the past, a few years ago. Now its popularity is less than of its variation Ivan mod, which is also great and I think about adding it to my collection. But so far, Buster CYL is one of my favorites and I spin it a lot very good. On penstock.net you may order it with air fit rings, but I spin it without them. Did you know that originally Spinner Pim, who created this mod, didn't use rings and even disable grips in this mod? 
And even though it, without this weighing parts, back those days in 2008, it was considered to be the heaviest mod and people even argued if it can be used in pen spinning. How much further we have moved from those days, huh? Okay, the rest pen mods I spin rarely and here is why. Well, I can say why about all of them except for this 12 mod. It is very old. This pen mod I got with my first waterfall and flying panda about which I told close to the beginning of this video. It is 18 gram, but spins like a light mod, maybe due to its thin body, Comsa. I don't know why I don't use it much, when in fact 12 mod is really great. I have not a single complaint about it, but just can't help, I don't like it. Just don't know. Just don't like how it feels. It is so subjective. I know why I don't like Tornado mod. It is too light, working space is too short, momentum is not enough, grips get covered with dust willingly and get cleaned unwillingly. It is almost impossible to make it clean. So Tornado always looks like an apocalypse survivor. It is not good for learning new elements, but it is okay to mess around with from time to time, once per month, I think. This mod. I always forget how it is called. Write in the comment section below if you recognize it and know what's its name. It is just great. I received it recently, about a week ago and can't say that I spin it rarely. All the new mods when I get them I spin them a lot. This one is emboss caps and body with animal grips and signet tips in them. You know what I realized? I like emboss body. I really do. We'll need to get some more emboss body mods as right now I have only Everchick Sambos and this. Man, how I forget its name again. Firefly G3, the only G3 based mod in my collection. As well as Minvo, it only looks like a single capped mod. While in fact, it feels and spins like a double capped mod. Center balanced and heavy. Yeah, heavy and fragile at the same time. That's why I don't spin it much. This junction breaks easily. And if you do break it, say bye bye to your firefly. Also, it spins meh. Not bad, but not that great. Despite of all this, it is legendary. It looks awesome, very customizable. In fact, spinning Firefly gives you less fun than aesthetical pleasure of spinning a really nice thing. But still it is nice to spin on a coach or above a soft pillow, several pillows, soft ones. Is that it? Are this pe all the pen mods which I have? No, there is one left. Twilight mode. It is a LED mod, which I keep only for special occasions, which never happen. I should spin it more often, because it is the best LED mod I know so far. I have a video about top LED mods, you can check it out. From rational point of view, I understand that these batteries will work for a long time, but always tend to save energy and don't spin. But it is really cool to spin an LED mod. Don't forget to leave a like and check the videos which I mentioned today, if you haven't seen them before. Go to spinball.com to play pen spinning games and learn new combos. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, everything is in the description. My name is Alex Suhov, may this style be with you. Bye.